What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and today we've got some pretty neat news to go over. Before we get started, a special thank you to Anthem's global community lead, Mr. Andrew Johnson, for notifying us about this new information. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, he posted on Twitter the other day letting us know about some changes that were made to the Get to Know the Interceptor and the Get to Know the Storm articles. Also a very happy late birthday to Andrew Johnson. So anyways freelancers, sit back, relax, and enjoy this awesome this. We're going to start this video off with the Interceptor because, I mean, let's face it, you Interceptor mains deserve some much needed and neglected love. I'm going to be quoting the article here, but for those of you who didn't already know, as the smallest and the sleekest of the Javelins, the Interceptor is favored by Corvus's long-range scouts, infiltrators, and assassins. But while it might not be the mightiest Javelin in your arsenal, its agility and evasion are unmatched, and it has more than enough power to bring the fight to anyone foolish enough to underestimate it. However, it's the next two sections where we get a dewdrop taste of what is to come for the Interceptor. Though, keep in mind, quote, as the game is still in development, all game features and ability names may be subject to change and there will be more to share. We'll update as necessary. Always two steps ahead. The Interceptor Javelin might not have the imposing silhouette of the Colossus, but it still knows how to pack a punch. The Interceptor excels at getting in close to inflict damage and weaken its enemies, then dashing away before they can react. With powerful blades and a full suite of devastating abilities, the Interceptor is both incredibly self-reliant and an excellent supporting teammate. Interceptor Javelin Exosuit Melee Ability Double-Bladed Daggers The Interceptor uses a pair of double-bladed daggers to deliver a multi-hit flurry of slashes, dealing damage in a chain of powerful attacks that can be continued indefinitely. So before we move on to the storm, let's process what we've got here. It looks like my predictions about the Interceptor from one of my earliest videos was pretty spot on. Our Interceptor Javelin is meant to be our get-in and get-out almost assassin-like Javelin. However, what makes me raise an eyebrow is in the first section that we discussed about the Interceptor apparently being an excellent supporting teammate. Supporting how? As DPS or potentially something more? Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the Interceptor's possible excellent supporting teammate capacity. Anyways, what I really want to talk about is that we finally have confirmation as to what the Interceptor's melee ability is. It will be using double-bladed daggers which I mean, come on. Even I think that's pretty epic, and the Interceptor is my bottom tier pick. Not to mention, it can also chain its attacks indefinitely. Now, hold on before you all get too excited. Keep in mind that many of the devs have said time and time again that melee only would not be a viable method of damage, nor would there be any way to build around it, at least at launch. Melee damage doesn't seem like it will be as effective or deal as much damage as your other gear attachments and other weapons will. Still, I'm pretty excited for you Interceptor mains. While we may have gotten this little tidbit of info on the Interceptor, I'm afraid the tidbit is all that we're going to have for right now. They haven't posted anything about its gear attachments nor its ultimate ability. However, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before we get to know more and the legendary anthem soon won't be soon as in months. Especially with Ben Irving visiting the Edmonton studio in Canada this week, which is where a good chunk of the dev team is located. Now, the second Javelin article that was updated was the Get to Know the Storm. Most of this information hasn't changed aside from its melee ability information. I am once again reading this from the official site. Storm Javelin Melee Ability ability. Fiery Strike. The storm uses the seals on its arm to deliver an explosive flash that deals damage and knocks back enemies that have gotten too close, giving the storm time to reposition at a safe distance. Admittedly, I'm a little disappointed that the storm is the only javelin without some sort of physical weapon as its melee ability. The ranger has its mace, the colossus has its fist and shield for shield bashing, and the interceptor now has its dual daggers. However, this does make sense in the long run for the storm, as the storm is the squishiest of the javelins and is often meant to keep a distance between the enemies and its glass cannon persona, I can understand a knockback melee. I guess I'm just a little surprised to hear that it's called a fiery strike. Don't get me wrong with the whole explosion thing, it makes sense, combustion and all that. What if I was rocking a full assortment of ice elemental damage on my storm? Wouldn't it feel kind of odd to have this fiery melee ability sticking out as a sore thumb? Then again, given the storm is the elementalist, it would make sense for freelancers to have an amalgamation of elemental attachments 
attachments on the suit. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the Storm's new melee ability. If you all would like to read these articles for yourself, I will leave a link in the description and pin them in the comment section as soon as I am able. Anyways, my friends, that's about it for today. If you enjoyed this Anthem news update and like what we are doing here, consider subscribing for more coverage on all things Anthem. And a special thank you to those of you who already have. Lastly, many thanks as always to my patrons for their generous donations and support for your Anthem. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.